In the 80s, a guy called Colin McLaughlin, or Mac as he was commonly known, was a British SAS soldier, and he used the phrase, harder to kill. So why is that relevant to you and I today? Well, off the back of all these reality series, we were saying that these people are passing selection. It's a bit of a, bit of a slap in the face to those who have served. So why am I even talking about it? Well, there's a relevancy about harder to kill. You see, harder to kill was founded on three principles. Number one, physical fitness. Number two, a mental toughness. And number three, the ability to survive. Now, how does that apply to you and I, just everyday Joes? Well, we can take a leaf out of the book, whether it's special forces, SAS, army rangers, navy seals, whatever. You and I can take a leaf out of the book and we can take that harder to kill and we can drop the K. We can make it harder to ill. Why? Because simply put, two in three of us adult Australians are fat, obese, overweight, hypertensive, diabetic, you name it, we've got it. So, from those three things, the physical fitness, what can we do? That's easy, you can work out. You don't have to have a home gym like me. You don't have to have a gym membership. You can just do some push-ups, some pull-ups, some sit-ups, some lunges, and for fuck's sake, even some burpees, and that'll get you started. The mental toughness thing, well, that's it. It's, it's an everyday thing. Just because this stuff in here can feel hard and tough at times and you want to quit, this guy up here, if he's dialed in, you can keep going. You see, personal opinion here, we've got a lot of soft cocks sitting out there. And that just not just the guys. Again, we've got people who just want to give up. We want to take the easy road. We want the 28-day challenge. We want the far out, the pills, the potions, the magic lotions, the just give it to me shit, and suddenly Aladdin will come around and I'll be able to rub his belly and pop out my own freaking genie. So mental toughness, we can work on that. And something I've been doing on the sidelines is trying to put together a 30-day, not going to call it a program, but simply a series of presentations of the stuff that I have learned, not just for myself, but also working, whether it's consulting, whether it's working with some of those fellow guys. There's a few that I know who are ex-SAS. And there's just a simple conversation with them, the takeaways that we can share. The third thing is survival. Now, I'm not saying to you, go out and be all bare grills about it. But survival is this. Think about what is in here. Survival, right? Eat the right food. Don't eat like an asshole, but eat the right food. We do that, we will survive. We keep eating like shit. We're gonna struggle. We're not gonna survive. We're not gonna be prosperous. We're gonna get a little bit older and we're gonna wish we knew what the fuck they were doing in those blue zones. And from me to you, it ain't the special foods that they're eating. It's as simple as what you and I have just discussed. They're moving every day. They're not eating like pigs. And they're getting their sleep. And most of these people in the blue zones don't have all the shit, the hat, the fit, that, that, swipe left, up, right, that. None of that shit is distracting them from just getting up and moving throughout the day. So, harder to ill. Is that you? Maybe it should be. Physical fitness. Because we don't want to slip, trip, and break a goddamn hip because you and I will both know someone, if it's not within your family, someone else, an elderly person, they've slipped over, they've hurt themselves, they've gone to hospital, and shit just happens. I've seen it happen twice in my family. Again, talked about number two. We talked about this mental thing, this thing up here, this space between the left and the right ear. We can work on that. We can take stuff out of number one and do hard shit. And maybe we'll get a little bit tougher so that whatever life throws at us, we're not going to break down at a minute's notice. And then number three, the survival stuff, and well, I'm just going to put it back down to the food stuff. Eat proper food. Don't eat like a pig. Don't overindulge. Don't eat like shit and then realize that if it makes you fart, it makes you burp, it feels like shit, you eat it, you're falling asleep, that shit is not good for you. Wake up! And I'm going to throw a fourth one in there, number four before we go, and that's get some goddamn sleep. Because maybe 
whether it's harder to ill. Maybe you, like me, you might want to be a little bit older and become harder to kill. Just a thought.